Hallelujah. I'm so very excited. Every time we have this opportunity to be in your homes, to be in your office, to bring the word of the Lord God to you. Because I'm very sure that the word of the Lord is the power of God unto salvation. In this ministry, we have seen testimonies. And we are still seeing testimonies every day, every minute, every second of God's goodness and power being made manifest in our life and through our life and in this ministry. I'm so very glad because today's message is for you. I'm so very excited because today God is going to be changing your life. I'm so very confident because after you watch this broadcast, your life will never remain the same again. I want to preach on a powerful topic that is titled Symptoms of Demonic Oppressions. Listen to me. There are so many people that are being oppressed by satanic forces. They don't know what to do. There are so many people that are under the bondage of the devil. The devil is having a field day ravaging their life, tormenting their destiny. So many people have wept for so long. So many people have cried for so long. So many people have been tormented for so long. So many people have been under the bondage and captivity of the devil for so long. But I have come as God's prophetic hand of liberation to liberate you out of the claws and oppression of wickedness listen to me via this message today god is going to be changing your life god is going to be changing your destiny god is going to be transforming your life your career your destiny your family after this message your life will never remain the same again right to us as this message is hitting you right to us let us pray with you let us intercede for you let us pray for you and i believe god and i trust god with you that as we pray for you your life will never remain the same I'm so very confident in what God can do because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. God can change your situation. God can change your life. A, 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 man, a man came to me and said, man of God, since I was born, I've, I, I've had these pains in my leg and I want to walk well. Because of this pain, I cannot walk well. I walk with a lot of pains in my leg. And we went to a place a quiet place and I began to pray for him and immediately after prayer the man that could not walk well before that was bending to one side as he was because of the pain the man began to walk straight and healthy healed by the power of God listen to me I'm confident in what God can do that after this message your life will never remain the same I'm gonna be giving you key symptoms of satanic oppression so when you look at this and you look at your life you'll be able to know if you are under satanic oppression listen to me satanic oppressions are real satanic oppressions are real but what is more real is the power of god to save and the bible said in the book of luke 10 verse 18 he said i saw satan fall like lightning so i am very sure that in regarding your life regarding your life god has the final say who has the final say it is only god that has the final say over your life over your destiny over that condition that you are going through and i believe that after this message your life will never remain the same again symptoms of satanic oppression number one when you are going through when you are going to places where problems are always taking place it's a symptom of satanic oppression listen to me there are so many people wherever they go evil always happen there there are so many people whoever they date always dies there are so many people whoever they date always end up leaving them there are so many people wherever they go something bad or terrible must happen there are some people wherever they go they, 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 they always enter into problems 
problem. They are not problematic people. They are not people that causes problem. They are not people that causes difficulties in people's life. But every time they step into that place, evil happens. Why? Because there is a, a, a power that accompanies their movement. There is a monitoring agent sent from the kingdom of darkness to monitor such people. And that is why wherever they go that is supposed to help them, wherever they go, that they can get something good to help their destiny. That devil will not want them to 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 to, to reap out of that good out of that goodness, so that their life will not be transformed, so that they will not be delivered. But listen to me after tonight. That devil that have been plaguing your life, that devil that have been plaguing your destiny, I command it to let you go now in the name of Jesus. Marato koto break. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over your destiny. What has stopped you in time past will no longer stop you again. In the name of Jesus, if you believe this shot fire wherever you are, if you believe this shot fire wherever you are, I see the fire of the Holy Ghost transforming your life and destiny. Listen to me. There are so many people wherever they go, something bad, misfortune must happen to them. It's not like they, 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 they plan for it. It's not like they wish it. But it just happened. It just happened. To so such people, they begin to cry. They begin to say to themselves, do they, do they have bad luck? Some of those people, they begin to think that maybe they have bad luck following them. Listen to me. It is not the bad luck. It is the thing that is following you. Because there are some people that their parents committed several havoc, committed mistakes, which opened the door for satanic policing to police their life. And there are so many people that by their own hands, they opened satanic doors. And because of that, wherever they go, evil tend to happen. But the Bible said the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. And that these brokers, what has been stopping you will never stop you again. In the name of Jesus, if you believe it, shall fire with faith. And I believe the fire of the Holy Ghost will come upon wherever you are and destroy whatsoever stronghold that is holding your life, that is plaguing your life, that is plaguing your destiny. And you will never experience it again. In the name of Jesus, if you believe, shall fire. My God, number two symptom of satanic and demonic oppression is evil happening all the time. You come out of one evil, you enter another one. You come out of one difficulty, you enter another one. You come out of one evil, you enter another one. Listen to me, it is not of God. It's a symptom that something is wrong. You just came out of one evil ordeal and another one is, 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 is happening. Listen to me, it is not God. It is a satanic oppression oppression that you need to be vigorous and radical in the realm of the spirit and say to it no and never can this occur again listen to me the bible said in the book of luke 10 19 he said and god said our authority have been given unto me listen to me Listen to me. Jesus gave you power. Jesus gave you authority. Jesus gave you power. Jesus gave you all authority. And so you can speak to that situation. You can speak to that devil to live your life. You can speak to that situation. You can speak to that devil to live your life. The Bible said in the book of Ephesians, he said, and, 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 and we are sick at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus far above all principalities and powers listen to me no matter the power the evil power that is accompanying your destiny you are if the day you realize that you are seated in the right hand of God far above it you begin to command it to disappear and to disappear and I profess as a prophet whatsoever may have been hindering your life Whatsoever may be hindering your destiny today, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, if you believe, shout fire with the voice of, 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 of a triumph. Hallelujah.
Mm. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the triumph of the Holy Ghost. Listen to me. All victory belongs to Jesus. All victory belongs to Jesus. You know what I say? Shout fire with the voice of triumph. Shout it with, with faith. Knowing that immediately you shout it. Fire will appear in the realm of the spirit. And whatsoever has been plagued in your life will disappear. What because the power of God is mighty to save. The Bible said, is anything too difficult for me to do? There is nothing difficult for God to do. God can change your life in a split of a second. God can change your life. The Bible said, he had captivity captive and he gave gifts to men. What are some of these gifts that God gave to men? He gave you authority and power to take charge over that situation. He gave you power over unclean devils. The Bible said he, he laid hands upon them and gave them power over unclean devils. Listen to me. All power has been given unto you. Luke 10, 19. All power has been given unto you. And as Jesus operated on the earth, so also you are to operate. And so by, so, by, by that realm, Revelation. There is no devil that can have fuck your life. So if there is any devil that is plaguing your destiny, it is a, it is time for you to say enough is enough. I command that devil to get lost. Listen to me. Listen to me. Tonight is your night. God is set to visit you. After this broadcast, your life will never remain the same again. Somebody shout amen. Symptoms of demonic oppression. Symptoms of satanic oppression. So many people have suffered in the hands of the devil. So many people have suffered in the hands of the devil. Stories upon stories of people that have been delivered. But before they get delivered, they suffered in the hands of the devil. But the moment they realize that God can deliver them, that God has the final say, that is the key to their miracle. Number two symptoms of satanic oppression battling a particular problem for years. There are so many people they have been, you, you are going through badness for years. You don't know what to do. No fruit of the womb. You have tried and tried. You have you have done everything. You have you have gone to all the best doctors, but yet no fruit of the womb. You have you have tried all forms of medication. You have tried all forms of advice. You have even tried all forms of techniques, but yet nothing is working. Listen to me. It it is not that something is wrong. It is because there is an oppression over your destiny. There is an oppression over your life that don't want you to give birth. Listen to me. Listen to me. I have seen five broad melted. I have seen five broad dropped and passed out. And that woman became pregnant. I have seen women that the doctors removed their womb. But yet they believed in God. And they still had children. No womb, but they had children. These are like documented testimony. And you too can share your own. If only you can believe right now, I prophesy. You are so ever plague of barrenness that the wicked one have plagued your life with. I command that barrenness to be over. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the barrenness is gone now in Jesus' mighty name. There are so many people for so many years they try to get married yet no man is coming their way. There are so many people they are beautiful they are beautiful, they are intelligent, they went to school, they are well to do, they have good business, good offices, but nobody comes to them. Nobody even say, hello, how are you? I, I want you, I want to get to know you better. Nobody comes to them. No man comes to them. It's like, they, they, it's like there is, there is, it's like they carry smell. It's like there is a smell upon their destiny that no man wants to get associated with them. Listen to me, it is not normal. It is not normal. It's a simple of satanic oppression there are so many people 
there are so many ladies all men want to do with them is to use them and disvalue them and at the end of the day they leave them dump them break their heart break their heart and there is no serious commitment there is no marriage they don't get to meet their loved ones you know they just end the relationship like that for no reason and they go to marry somebody else there are some cases how do you know that it is satanic oppression there are some cases that the men will even leave these ladies and marry their best friends marry their, their their friends marry their people that are close to them even in some cases the man will leave them and marry their sister what is wrong listen to me there is something that is going wrong in the life of such a person and you need the help of god to break you out of that satanic oppression listen to me if you are going through this you need to write to us right now you need to use the comment section you need to locate this encounter jesus page and write to us so that we'll pray with you and pray for you and i believe god and i trust god that your life will never remain the same and i prophesy whatsoever has been stopping your destiny whatsoever has been plaguing your marital fulfillment i command it to disappear now get lost in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus over you over your life over your marital life over your life over your marital destiny and i command the light of the Lord to shine wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus there are so many people in the realm of the spirit they have turned them into something else there are some people they are very beautiful but in the realm of the spirit they have turned them to be ugly that is why men don't see them that's why they don't get married because when men see them though they are beautiful in the physical realm but the men does they don't see them as beautiful ladies they see them as ugly people why because in the realm of the spirit there is a satanic oppression that have that have occurred to turn their face listen to me whatsoever may have turned your face in the realm of the spirit for negativity i command in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i cancel it now in the name of jesus symptoms of satanic oppression there are so many people they have graduated from university but no job they have looked for job left right center but no job is coming they 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 they, they, they they place all the CVs in all websites, all, 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 all vacant uh, position for all vacant position. Even so many people, they even go outside of their, out of what they study the school. They try to place application even in odd places just because they want to get a job, any job anyhow but yet the job still does not come listen to me it's not normal it is not normal i prophesy what has been making you stagnant in the area of getting a job in the name of jesus i command it to let you go down in the name of jesus the fire of the holy ghost engulf you now your deliverance take place now wherever you are in the name of jesus if you believe begin open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth now begin to declare it the only your mother begin to declare it as the man of God is praying for you now begin to receive your miracle by faith and I'm very sure that right now your life is transforming God is touching you God is changing your story God is delivering you the right hand of the Lord God is touching you right now and saving you for the right hand of God is the power of God to save it is the hand of liberation right now you are delivered in Jesus mighty name symptoms of satanic oppression symptoms of satanic oppression number four Simple, number four symptom of satanic oppression is sleeping in church during ministration or during message time listen to me one of the symptoms of satanic oppression is sleeping in church when the pastor is preaching when it is time for ministration when pastor is praying for people to get healed praying for people to be delivered you are sleeping also another sign of symptoms of satanic oppression is not only sleeping in church is removing messages that is meant to transform your life there are so many people when they are listening to messages like this that, that can transform your life their life they what they just do the death for that is policing their destiny just push them to remove it 
push them to delete it push them to remove it out of their device push them to remove it out of their phones push them to remove it out of their pc push them to remove it out of their out of their out of their tablet listen to me what is going on is that devil that is policing such a person don't want such persons to hear the gospel because when they hear the gospel their life can be transformed so that devil tends to limit them so that they don't hear the gospel so that their life will not be transformed because the bible said the gospel is the power of god the word of god is the power of god to save so then what what that devil is trying to do in the life of such people is that they don't want them to hear the gospel there are some people when they are hearing such gospels that is able to change their life they start placing a negative comments Sort of, they start writing a sort of negative comments to discourage other people from listening to the word of God. They start writing negative comments to discourage people from hearing the word of God. What they are doing is this. It is not such people. When I see such things, I don't get bothered because I know it is not them. It is the devil operating through them that wants them not to be saved because, they, because he knows that there is fire in this message. Because he knows that there is fire in all the messages that is able to change their life. Listen to me. You have to say no to the devil. You have to watch the video to the end. You have to key into every prophetic declaration. You have to stay up hope in faith. Whenever you want to sleep in church during the message time, say to yourself, This message, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to receive my miracle today. Open your eyes and stay awake and plead the blood of Jesus over yourself. However, you are right now, begin to plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over that place that you are, over that situation. Now, please the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost I command the light of the Holy Ghost to shine in your life, to shine in that situation, to shine around you right now, and I command deliverance to begin to take place now, take place now take place now, in the name of Jesus, wherever you are now heal is now, heal is now heal is now, in the name of Jesus, deliverance right now, take place wherever you are, power everywhere everywhere, everywhere, everywhere everywhere, everywhere, everywhere of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus the fifth symptom of satanic oppression is missing opportunities there are so many people they miss out in a lot of opportunities opportunities come their way but when opportunity comes their way, one thing or the other just happened and they miss such opportunities. Listen to me, it is not normal. When such person begin to miss opportunities, life is wasting away. When such person begin to miss opportunities, days are wasting away. When such person begin to miss opportunities, life and destiny of such persons is just going bad. Listen to me. That's why you need to wake up and say to yourself, no more. No more with the devil plague my life. No no more will the devil have a field day. Listen to me. You need to go home wherever you are right now. Get the Bible. Open to the book of Luke 10 verse 19 and see what Jesus has done for you. By reason of his death and resurrection, you have been set free. The devil has no right over your destiny. The devil has no right over your life. Jesus on the cross said it is finished. And I prophesy upon your destiny. Whatsoever has been plaguing your destiny right now comes to an end in the name of Jesus. I decree to come to an end now. I decree to come to an end now. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over your situation. I plead the blood of Jesus wherever you are. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over your destiny right now. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, lift up your voice and begin to cry out to Jesus. Say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, save me. Deliver me. Rescue me right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rapato kosiata. Meko tapalagede yata. Power everywhere. Everywhere. Inside, outside. Power everywhere. The power of the Holy Ghost is hitting you now. Wherever you are, deliverance is taking place right now. Healings are taking place right now. Salvation is taking place right now. 
wherever you are i see jesus right there touching you i see the edge of the holy ghost the edge of the lord touching you right now rescuing you out of the pit of the devil rescue you rescuing you out of the cause of wickedness i see transformation i see deliverance right now take it now power take it to break the theater power everywhere inside outside the holy ghost is touching you right now wherever you are right now you are being healed you are being delivered begin to check your body begin to do what you could not do before Miracles are taking place. Deliverances are taking place. Rescue of the Holy Ghost is taking place right now. Now plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus everywhere. The fire of the Holy Ghost is everywhere. Burning inside, outside, everywhere. All over these brokers. Fire of the Holy Ghost everywhere. The blood of Jesus is taking over. I see miracles taking place. I see healings taking place. I see deliverances taking place. Right now. Shabakata. Metopeyata. Zikate. Lekotopreketia. Wherever you are, power everywhere. The fire of the Holy Ghost is a God for you. Your miracle is happening right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rapakuta Payata. Maseke to pregetiate. Check your body right now. Begin to do what you could not do before. I see power everywhere, inside, outside. The power of the Holy Ghost touching you, touching your body, touching your spirit, touching your soul. I see the hand of God, the power of the Holy Ghost touching you everywhere. Power everywhere, inside, outside, everywhere, wherever you are, around you right now, all over this broadcast. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Check your body. Begin to do what you could not do before. Check your body. Check your body. Things are happening right now. Things are happening right now. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. Things are happening right now. Check your body. Check. Check. Do what you could not do before. Because I see healings. I see healings. I see healings. I see somebody's ears being healed right now. Your ear, you could not hear well before. There's somebody watching me right now. You could not hear well before. You could hear very little partially. I see your ear opening up. I see it opening up as we are praying the ears the ears the ears popped open right now you can hear very clearly i saw somebody when you used to talk you used to stammer but i see your tongue becoming straight right now i see you now you can talk perfectly open your mouth and begin to talk open your mouth and begin to talk there is somebody you used to have chest pain you used to have pains in your chest but right now that pain is gone that pain is gone there is somebody you have pains at the side of your body at the side at the side of your body sometimes you can't even move your body loose as if your body is stuck but right now it is free it is loose begin to move your body right now you can walk those of you that cannot walk right now you can walk begin to get up get up out of that wheelchair right now get up now get up now begin to walk get up yes that is it begin to walk now begin to walk now yes that is it that is it that is it that is it take the step of it begin to walk get up get up drop those clutches begin to walk now your that pain in your leg is gone that pain in your knee is gone that pain in your ankle is gone that pain in your bones are gone listen to me that pain in your hands are gone the power of the holy ghost are everywhere 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 fire is everywhere inside outside all over this broadcast fire is everywhere you are now be healed healings are taking place deliverance are taking place right now everywhere 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 power of the holy ghost everywhere everywhere there is somebody used to have chronic headache like a migraine i see that headache disappearing already disappearing already there is somebody watching me right now you were hit by a something hard like a stick somebody use it to hit your head something use it to hit your head because i saw in the realm of the spirit something hitting your head i don't know whether it's your, it was your, in your place of work or something something hit your head and ever since that pain has been there that that sharp pain has been there but right now that pain is disappearing it's gone totally check yourself check yourself see power power everywhere touching you the holy ghost is touching you jesus is performing healings all over this broken right now fire of the holy ghost is all about the screens everywhere everywhere i see you becoming healed i see you healed right now begin to check yourself begin to check yourself eye pains are disappearing pains in the eyes are disappearing i see somebody that could not see where your eyes are very red pains it's like veins are almost coming out of your eyes that eyes is coming into order right now it's coming into order right now i see 
that I become healed and well right now. Eyes are coming into order right now. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody inside your nose, you have a growth. Inside your nose, you have a growth. Like it, it looks like a, a, a little big boy. Listen to me right now, that boy is busting. It has busted. It has busted. It has busted. I see pus that coming out of it now. You are healed now. Completely. That pain is disappearing now. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody you have something like a cancer or tumor inside your ears. Inside your ears, like you in your ear region. But right now, that pain, that tumor, that cancer is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody you began to observe something like a rash all over your skin. Right now, that rash is gone. That rash is gone. That rash is gone. There's somebody when you're watching this broadcast, you have boys under your armpit. You have boys under your armpit. Check your armpit now. It is gone. The boys is gone. Totally gone. Totally gone. The boys in your armpit is totally gone. You are healed now. You are healed now. You are delivered now. I see God touching you right now. You are healed now. Take it. Take it. Take your healing. Take your healing. Take your healing. Fire everywhere. Fire everywhere. All over this broadcast. All over this broadcast. All over this broadcast. Fire. Fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I see Jesus, the master healer, healing you right now. Touching you right now. All over. Power. All over. Inside. Outside. Touching you right now. Receive your healing. Receive the healing of the Holy Ghost. You see the healing of the Holy Ghost everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Payakata, Brukate Kusapa, Belegete Brukutuya Kedeke de Keyate, Bayato Supre Inta, Zekete, Mato Prekutu Palaka, fire everywhere. Fire of the Holy Ghost all over, everywhere, 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 everywhere. You are healed in Jesus' precious name. Listen to me. You are healed now. Check your body. Begin to do what you could not do before. Begin to move your neck. But I see pains in the neck disappearing. I see somebody that is using something like a cast. Like a cast around your neck. That pain is disappearing. There is somebody, a cast is on your neck because of pain. Like you had something like a fracture. I don't know whether it's of your spinal cord. To let you know that you are the one I'm seeing right now in the realm of the spirit. Your cast is something like brownish color. Listen to me now. Get Take it off. You are healed. Take it off. You are healed. Get up. Begin to move your neck. You are totally healed. That spine is totally healed. Your neck is totally healed. Listen to me. There's somebody, there, there, there's something like a pain on your shoulder. When it comes upon you, it looks as if the whole world has come upon your shoulder. But listen to me. Right now, you are feeling light because that pain is disappearing. That load upon your shoulder is disappearing. Listen to me. It is totally gone. Healings are taking place all over right now. Bad pains are disappearing. New pains are disappearing. Uh, 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 heal pains are disappearing. There is somebody who feel pains in your toes, like like within your 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 your, your finger region. Your finger region in your toes. Listen to me. The power of God has touched this right now. There is healing taking place right now. Begin to move those toes right now. Begin to check them. Begin to press them. And the pains are totally gone. The, the symptoms are totally gone. There is somebody you are diabetic. And because of the diabetic, because of the diabetics, that is eating up into your legs. It's eating up into your legs. It's like your legs are now getting rotten. Right now, I see that diabetes gone. I see I see yourself being transformed, being healed right now. That rotting, that, that rotting symptoms come to an end now in the name of Jesus. Your life is transformed. You, you will never remain the same again. God is touching you. God is touching you. Check your body right now. Check your body right now. Even after this broadcast come to an end. Don't stop. Check your body because healings are taking place. Write to us. Use the comment section. Write to us. Locate this ministry. Locate this encounter page and locate this encounter page. Locate this encounter page. You can write it encounter Asia or encounter Jesus or encounter United States, and the page will open. You will see a, a, a videos uh, by the special grace of God. You see videos that God is using me to minister to preach. You will see there. Write to us. Use the comment section. Write, write, write. Perhaps you are watching this broadcast from other pages or other platform. If you use the comment section over there, we may not get to, to, to hear your testimony. We may not get to read your testimony. So come to Encounter Jesus page. Encounter. E-N-C-O-U-N-T-E-R. -O, Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Just type it there on Facebook and you see it. 
on Instagram you will see it, or you type Ekanta Asia on Facebook you will see it, and on YouTube we are also there Ekanta TV Network. Or you just type, or you just type Apostle King Favor. Once you type Apostle King Favor on Facebook, it brings it up. Once you type Apostle King Favor on Instagram, it brings it up. When you type Apostle King Favor on YouTube, it brings it up. Whatever platform you're watching us from, just type Apostle King Favor. It will bring out the original page. Listen to me, write to us. We want to hear those testimonies because God has done marvelous things. Because testimonies perfect your miracle testimony secures what god has done so write to us let us hear your testimony share your testimonies with us write to us what god is doing in your life and for you and i know that as you do this your life will never remain the same and i encourage as many of you that have not subscribed to this page to so subscribe subscribe click, click like for as many of you that have not been viewing our youtube the youtube channel please go there view the youtube channel there are a lot of messages that will change your life that will transform your destiny and as you do this your life will never remain the same again so we meet again is Apostle King Favor. The fire of the Holy Ghost is everywhere. All over this broadcast, all over the screen, wherever you are, the light of God is shining so bright. It's too bright everywhere. Healings are taking place. Eyes are popping open. Things are happening. Miracles everywhere. So we meet again. The stay in the miraculous. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.